The energy trial in warm water immune hemolytic anemia is an abstract on a trial in progress. This is a uh, trial in patients with primary or secondary warm water immune hemolytic anemia who's received prior uh, therapy for their disease and have been refractory uh, to initial therapy or have progressed on steroids. And in, this is a phase two, three randomized controlled trial. The agent is nipocolumab, which is an FCRN receptor uh, antagonist. Um, and what this agent does is uh, the warm water immune hemolytic anemia is a disease that's characterized by antibody-mediated destruction of the red blood cells. Um, and majority of the antibodies in the peripheral blood are actually recycled rather than produced. Um, and they're recycled through this FCRN uh, receptor pathway. Uh, blocking the FCRN receptor pathway prevents antibody recycling and re uh, results in reduction of the antibodies both pathogenic as well as non-pathogenic. So we designed the phase two, three randomized controlled, uh, placebo controlled trial with three arms with uh, two uh, arms uh, of patients receiving uh, active therapy at two different dose schedules every two weeks or every four weeks. And the third arm would be a placebo arm to, uh, to evaluate the efficacy of the drug compared to the placebo. And this is a multinational uh, international multi-institution trial. We're planning to accrue about 111 patients. Uh, the patients will be randomized for a duration of 24 weeks, after which point um, they will either be allowed to continue on an open label extension or advance to, uh, to cross over to an active therapy arm if they're not responding and they were on the placebo arm.